Last week, we released a Silosis reaction where we asked you guys to give us your best recommendations for some of their <clears throat> songs. Y'all said Imperial. I think that's how you pronounce it. Is it Imperial? Let us know if we're saying it wrong. MP, but... MP Real. I, I feel so stupid that I don't know what the pronunciation <laughs> is. So if you correct, correct us. We're hopping in the time machine. We're going back to 2011 and we are going to check out Imperial by Silosis off their album edge of the earth make sure to hit the subscribe button make sure to hit the bell so you never miss a video and let's fucking do it oh boy awesome. jägermeister <laughs> jäger oh. oh it's gritty <laughs> oh yeah That's a pretty low tune guitar for 2011. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude. That is crisp. Wow. This is a double kick. It's it's so good this this man went blind. Blind me with your music. Oh. 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 Just follow the fast riff, my dude. You can, you can listen for it. Oh, wow. Oh, that is a sick riff. That's like tremolo picking. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. They like those Some war more drums. drums. Yeah. Oh. This is incredible. Ah. I, I I think they practice, Brady. <laughs> I, think, I think they enjoy keeping time. Oh, study your music theory, kids. Got to go fast. This part I can't tell if there's like guitar harmonies going on or just something. I mean, the bass is also driving it too. A little pitch in that in that scream, dude. The vocals in this song are very reminiscent to Testament. Yes, I'm hearing that too. Oh, they love Gaga Gaga. We love Gaga Gaga. Wait, I, I'm I'm feeling so ready, man. That's <laughs> oh, wow. We did a little. Ugh. You see that? You hear that? That's clean. That little bass run. Ooh. Okay. A little muty on the guitars. Okay. Rolling. Rolling. Oh, okay. There it is. There it is. Ooh. Damn! God damn! It's like pitch shift in the uh, the Probably. bends too. Oh my god! Oh. All I'm thinking is this would be incredible live. It kind of it reminds me of old Machine Head too. Yeah. It's got a very Rob Flynn style. Mm. That's so cool, man. I assume this Good is the chorus. chorus. Rip. Yeah. This man in the music video is going blind and he's also possessed by the rips. <laughs> and now he's 
He's ascending. Oh god, I feel like I'm ascending. I'm never ready for this riff when it comes back. How do you even make something like this? Fade out. Oh, oh guys, do a <laughs> little circle head bang there. <laughs> Okay, now Ooh. he's just he's just having a seizure now. We gotta gotta get him some help. No, he's good. He's good. He's he's enlightened. I'm oh, enlightened. No no fade out. It just cuts right there. I, Go I, ahead, Joe. I, I, I literally just said, uh, how do you make? How do you? This is from 2011. First of all, way ahead of its time. Second right. of all, how the hell do you even write something like this? This is just another level of right. Like I don't even well, they know where they begin. Like all right, they clearly I'm sat in a cave. For their inspiration, like <laughs> and they're just like, okay, this is what we felt. Yeah, that's actually not an actor. He's a real, he's a real caveman. Uh, he's really in there, dude. This was amazing, man. I, I'm actually what very, a, I'm what very a song. impressed. Um, very impressed with. I mean, clearly, uh, these guys know what they're doing. Like they're, they're playing so cleanly, so crisp. I mean, there was like a lot of tremolo picking, the drums. I, I've noticed consistent themes of war drums, you know, even with the new song right. and then this song, like this part, consistent though. Drums very consistent, consistently good with the right. double bass. The bass was driving the song as well. So that's a very important thing too, Brady. It, right. If you're playing these crazy, like, uh, I guess you would call it like fast picking riffs, mm -hmm. you have to have a, a deep bass that drives it to kind of complement it. If you don't have that, then it, it just kind of falls flat. But this did not fall flat at all. This was uh, quite the opposite of that. This was uh, this is very good. Yeah, I mean, through the throughout the whole song, I was getting a lot of different. Um, I, I don't know what the word is. Maybe influences. influences I guess that would be the word. And, uh, there's, I was I was hearing a lot of different to, things yeah. that were reminiscent to bands that I used to listen to around this time. And the two that I mentioned were Testament. I I heard a lot of. Uh, testament influence in the so cool. chorus vocals um, whether it's the layering of the vocals themselves or if they, the way they mix them I was I, it was very reminiscent of um, Old Testament uh, vocal sound and then it sounded like a old machine head song machine head but turned up to like 11 like machine head was already was already turned up like old like the blackening machine head like that's, that was that's that's that, what I'm thinking. That was that was actually a pretty heavy album. I I think this is this is much heavier than that. But if, if you can kind of hear the similarity, or maybe maybe even you could argue even maybe some inspiration. Maybe they took some inspiration from from them. Right. Um, but I mean, Solosis has been around for a while too. But um, I mean, if you told me that back in 2011 that Machine Head and Silosis were on the same tour card at some point, I would I would totally believe. Or Testament, you. you know, they fit in. Yeah. With, you know? Yeah. One of the, just these like big metal bands and like a awesome metal show where you're camping out and you're sweaty and you don't shower for three days. And Most of the time, that's that's pretty bad. You know, you go to those shows and like you get the one guy who you like, all right, dude, like this is you you haven't showered like in like two weeks and you came to the show. <laughs> like it's not just from today. It's it's like pre-existing bo. Right. But it's like you get the, they sweat in. so much. God damn it. And you're just like, if you're moshing into them, you slide. It's bullshit. Those are our thoughts, guys. What are yours? If you guys have been following this band for a while, I'm sure you know this isn't anything new. But we'd love I want to hear, hear what more. you guys think of this song. But keep the recommendations I want to hear coming. More. This, is, this is this might be like one of my new favorite bands. This is this is incredible. these guys did it again, man. I mean, they're two for two. The the catalog is huge. We understand. Um, I do see that there's an Imperial Part Two, so maybe at some point we'll check that oh, out. Was it really? Yeah, there's a part two, so maybe at some point we check that one out too. Sweet. But anyways, we love, love you guys. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the bell so you never miss a video. Leave a like as well. Where did you get that hat from? I want I want one of those. Yeah, so if you guys can see, this is the DZ Flat Rim. Brand new on the Dream Zero merch page. You can find the link below. Go over there, wow. get yourself a hat, get yourself a t-shirt, get yourself a sweatshirt. If you're into bumper stickers, go get yourself a sticker. We're updating the store all the time. 20% off promo across the whole store right now. We will see you guys in the next video. We thank you guys so much. Make sure to leave a like, as I mentioned, and we'll see you guys in the next one.